Well, as you can see, we got some serious snow overnight. About five, maybe six inches. And it's windswept up here, so it's icy. Might as well come along for the ride while I plow the drive here. Let me show you. So can you see there? I need to go down there and you can see, probably can't make it out, but I got a snow drift at least four foot right there. And I got to push past that somehow. You can see there, I couldn't make it. I got stuck in the dump. It's too windswept. Took me a good 45 minutes to get out, dig out, push me off the road into the dirt and I was spinning. I had to use a little salt and back up the hill. Hopefully I can, the FedEx man dropped off a package down there at the bottom of the hill. He couldn't make it either. All right, guys, let's give this a try again. All right, I pushed that as far as I can go that way. I gotta get this mound of snow out of here. We both gotta work tomorrow, so we ain't got a choice. We gotta get off this hill. And the tool that I got is this big guy right here. If he can't do it, nothing will. I don't know if you guys can notice or not, but I dug down on the side there and stuck a shovel in where the side of the road's at and dug a cut with the shovel because it drifts so bad up here. It's hard to even tell where you're at. If I get this thing stuck, it's going to be there till spring. All right, I think I'm home free now. Time for a cigarette now that I know I'm not going to get stuck. At least I hope. It reminds me of a story. Yesterday, Indiana Doug posted a video and the tagline was smoke them if you got them which reminded me a story about my granddad who died a couple years ago we called him bambi and he was a lifelong smoker but after like 40 years of smoking he smoked two packs a day at one point he just quit cold turkey never smoked a cigarette again but after he retired he was driving school bus and one day when it snowed like this and they were coming home from school he said he slid all the way down a steep hill barely controlled the bus, slid right into an intersection. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. But when he looked back in the rear view mirror, he realized all the teenagers were scared shitless. So he still smoked at that point. He looked at him and he said, smoke them if you got them. And he said six or seven kids who smoked looked around, realized he was serious, lit up cigarettes and they all smoked on the way home. That's the kind Bambi was. So Bambi, if you're listening, I love you, brother. I love you, brother. I stuck my shovel in there just so I could see the side of the road. I could barely tell where it was at. One more time up and down, and then that's about all I can do with the plow. I might run up and down with the salt spreader one time. take two full bags but I think we'll leave it at that. Definitely don't want to leave the salt in here because if it gets wet it makes a mess. Well guys I think that's about it for the day. I ain't gonna get into too much else. I might go down in the little YouTube studio and finish a review on a backpack. Probably gonna do a little more snow skating. Um, 
now that I've been skating a little bit on a regular skateboard, the snow skate ollie seems harder and the shove it's easier, but I'm gonna spend some more time doing that. Smoke the second half of the SIG here, run up and down one more time, and that's it. If I don't see ya, I'll see you when I see ya, and that'll be on the next one. Peace. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? The people wanna see you. They ask about you. Show them your head. Come here. Uh, come here. Don't be scared. There's the little green-eyed, white-hooded, black-bean, pink-nosed Windercat.